What can they do to stop Chas Monster if the young Queenslander leads us away at the start of race three? Have a look at how busy it is in the middle of the pack, but he's had his nose in front all weekend, Russell. He's the man to beat. Hey, someone's got to give Chas a bit of a run for his money here, and I have a feeling this could be the race. Simpson and Urain side by side. Out through the grass, Mostert. Here's a chance for Simpson. Here's a go outside. Will be the go. Got the lead. Done. So finally, someone is taking the fight to Mostert, but it took a chance mistakenly Walsh, and this is the best we've seen Ashley, or the closest to the front we've seen him all weekend. Absolutely. Once you get into a train like this, as long as you stay in the slipstream, then you get a good chance to have a big go. Great look back here at the chasing pack that's led by Mostert. Hard under brakes down to this right hand and it brings them back into the valley. Oh. That's Nathan Morecambe up and over. No and the way. spectrum is on its head. That's the worst place you want to be too. Skidding along on your head isn't a good way to go in these cars. Let's have a look. How did that happen? Right. Jerzak up the inside. Yeah, a bit ambitious move. Over. And the roll hoop's done a great job there. Absolutely. After a checkup, Morecambe was found to have no injuries. When the race was restarted, there was only a short dash to the finish, with Ryan Simpson sitting in the box seat. Simpson has his nose in clear air, but that corner almost brought Nick Foster undone. Uh, Foster's hanging in there. Oh, I don't think he's got enough to get the three in front. I think it's all over. And they've shuffled Mostert back in the pack. He's back to fifth overall. Walsh has pushed himself up to second. But Ryan Simpson is the man in front, and he's going to break Mostert's dominance of this week. Round out the top ten.